for want of a better word, your soul, you yes. know, for, for real happiness. Sometimes those things can have more in Thank much. you. A few minutes to nine now. Perhaps when you think of sport in Serbia, you think of global superstars like Novak Djokovic or the Europe conquering football club Red Star Belgrade. But in a small town in Cumbria this weekend, Serbia will make rugby league history. Adam Wilde has been finding out all about it. Doing well. When you don't meet the stipulations that you laid down, that you said, and, it's, uh, and you say it's only 3%. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, if but you the don't stipulations them, that's, we that's said when, were that's when it shouted products. about. No. Are picking up what they think now is palm, palm oil free because Iceland said it would be. But we, it isn't. I, I, I talk to people about opinion. Transparent is absolutely fine. I think what is also interesting is when you say you can't hold a gun to suppliers' heads. Now, let's talk about this. Take, take almost Iceland out of context. Let's talk about mm. business as a whole trying to yeah. do good. When you can't hold a gun to suppliers' heads, which is understandable, how quickly can the food industry... Thank you for taking Thank the you time so talking to us on BBC Breakfast this morning. Managing Director of Iceland Foods. That takes us to 18 minutes past nine and time for a look at the weekend weather with Matt. Thank you very much, Charlie. Now, a very good morning. Today we've been talking about best places to live. How about Laura's... The court, yes, the Australian Open Set final. We've got marvellous story. The 21-year-old, the US Open champion, Naomi Osaka, against the comeback queen, Petra Kvitova. First time in the Grand Slam final since. It's only for those that didn't crash into the, the uh, bushes at the side there. I let the dogs down a little bit. But uh, they're incredible athletes, and they go completely silent when they're running, just focused. Do they? They're obviously yelping with excitement, howling excitement before, but once they go, they go. And it's almost a real feeling in the forest, the dark all around you, just the light on the dogs, and just silence apart from the wheels, in that case, of the, the training quad bike. Uh, so just to update us, the, the women's final underway right now. In, in fact, good timing there. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm just trying to strain to see. It's... Uh, Seven six and one love to Kvitova. So okay. still trying to get to the end of this. Um, and just a thought, set. Mike, about tomorrow because so it's very close. Uh, so yeah, the men's final, which is tomorrow. Oh, Osaka has taken the first set. I'm just seeing now. Yeah, apologies. That yeah, they're taking a little break now because Osaka. Have, but it's been so close. You'd think that's going to go to three sets now. It's fantastic Osaka television, isn't it? Set. Watching Mike, she watching that. You want it on that. a tie break. Yeah, sorry it's about great. that. I, I was watching <laughs> well, too. Yeah, that's why I'm not a commentator. <laughs> I should have my glasses on for that, isn't it? It's a tiny little screen uh, in the corner of the studio. I keep leaning over there. So, yeah, let me just update. So, 7-6, she won the so She won the tie break. And uh, Kvitova is one love up in the second set. OK, and a thought about tomorrow, because that well, is epic, isn't Well, we it? tried to push Sue Barker, didn't we, on who would win. I mean, I, I do think she, I'm, I'm sticking with Rafa Nadal, yeah. but they're both looking absolutely, probably the best they've ever looked. Number one and number two in the world. Yeah, uh, and they're bashing away all the, the yeah. newcomers, the talk of t changing the guard. Of course, Djokovic is still 31, but Nadal is now chasing what his 18th Grand Slam. So there's so much to play for still for them. Very good. Mike, thank you very much. It's an exciting weekend of sport, isn't it? Mm. Thanks, Mike. Uh, it's coming up to quarter to ten, good morning. The actor Tina Malone, who starred in the sitcom series Shameless, is facing legal action over a social media post These allegedly of one show. of James Bolger's killers, John Venables. There is a global ban on publishing anything that could reveal the new identities of either the toddler's killers who were released on licence in 2001. The Attorney General for England and Wales is now currently investigating how social media impacts laws on injunctions. The case has drawn fresh attention to the issue. Well, would media bring something new to the game, doesn't it, in terms of what can be said and what is considered okay to post? I think what it does is it...
to order that is in place banning the publication of anything revealing the identities. Just give us a sense of the scale. You know, face, I'm no historian of social media companies, but I think you know, Facebook comes from Also, the, the, the risk of... Clearly, uh, uh, for the courts in pursuing this, uh, in this instance, is a uh, For those people who might think that somehow uh, social media or Twitter or whatever it were is, is not the, the thing for which this applies. Uh, and that is an important message to get out. This it? can be confusing. I mean, if... Mm. The whole point of this is to send a message. I just wonder about if it's the best way to send a message because people see things like MPs breaking privilege mm. in Parliament and which which they are allowed allowed to do. But mm. there are confusing messages about mm. who can be named, when privilege can be broken, what's contemptuous mm. at the moment. Do you think that's fair that it's not? actually very clean and thank you very much for taking us through it's a complicated issue isn't it that yes. is one that we'll be following closely thank you thank you uh 949 time for our last look at the weather matt's there for us right now morning, morning matt. matt good morning both of you good morning thank you what do you think of sports in Serbia? Do you think perhaps global superstars Novak Djokovic you've got Now, five minutes to ten. How do we draw the line between female empowerment and female exploitation online? It's a big question, and it's one that's being explored by writer and actress Nicole Leckie in a new play called Super Hope. Yes, a one-woman show looks at the difficulties of realising young dreams in the age of social media, and Nicole is with us now. Uh, I'm, how well have we explained that? Do you, do you want to sort of give your version? It's a 20-second... No, what is it? So, it is basically about a young woman called Sasha who is an aspiring musician and through kind of she has this quite dysfunctional relationship with her family she ends up kind of sofa surfing and figures her tries to figure her way out basically and ends up using social media as a platform to kind of social media escorting which is kind of on the rise so it's kind of that journey so but we spoke about female empowerment mm. in the introduction to you so mm. i'm assuming this isn't a story of pity and woe no no, it's, it's, I guess it's looking at like who has the power in this situation because mm. these, lots of these young women that